Megan Griffiths is known as Meg's bro. She is coming from West Coast, Canada, with strength number 143. Bra bra bra. Yeah. I noticed a lot of you are trying to do static balance in your driveways or in your carports and it is a lot more difficult um, on a solid surface like this rather than grass so I wanted to give anyone who's just starting out um, a tip you can use wooden blocks like this all you have to do is roll your tire forwards onto it move over here roll forwards and then back onto this guy now it's going to make static balance a little bit easier to get the hang of especially if you're new to it it makes a big difference even if you have your front brake in and uh yeah I, I hope this helps some of you out scared me. I thought the bike was going to land on me, but it didn't. No headaches yet. Usually it's almost instant. So this is great news.
How do you feel about yourself right now? I'm embarrassed. Are you happy with your life choices? Uh, yeah, I mean... Ah! Whoa! I've made so many girly noises today, I don't know. What's this? Hey, do you want a hand? that way. giant log and we're gonna pop up it and land on two wheels on the other side probably the easiest technique on a dirt bike so you're gonna come into it you're gonna smash into it with your front tire you're then gonna use a clutch pop to get the rear wheel up then you're not gonna freak out and you're gonna fly over it and land on two wheels on the other side it's easy All right, all right, I'm just kidding. The double blip technique is extremely tough to learn, especially on a full-size bike rather than a trials bike. But it's something I've been working on for a long time now, and I had a bit of a breakthrough today. I didn't quite nail it, but I will break it down for you guys, and we'll go over what went wrong and what went right. And then hopefully I can nail it on the next round. <laughs> Okay, this first attempt showed a clear lack of commitment and a weak clutch pop. And making sure that my weight is back over the rear fender so the rear wheel doesn't spin on the log. The goal with the double blip is to land softly on two wheels on the other side of the log. You don't want your front tire coming down first. I quickly realized something was happening on almost every attempt to bring my front wheel down first. The rear wheel was getting air off the log. <laughs> 